The top of the trailer has uh, three layers of solar panels. When we're moving, um, the solar panels on the two lower layers are then deployed uh, after uh, arriving at the site where we want to stay. Um, the panels are older uh, solar world panels that we used to have on top of the RV, but it's over 4,000 watt that is being deployed. The first step is uh, to get the support rails out. So they're stored in uh, two layers um, and uh, they are being mounted in the lower position. All of them are secured with safety pins and the solar panels are too. So in the failure uh, during driving, all that will happen is that the thing collapses down on the roof or on the trailer. Uh, that's the main reason for not hanging them on the side of the trailer, of course. The rails himself um, is the full width of the trailer and um, they slide in uh, in the same socket. It's uh, one and a half inch aluminum uh, square tubing uh, with a quarter inch wall thickness. Uh, they are rated to be able to hold uh, more than six times the weight of the actual solar panels. And we have had it deployed at 80 miles per hour winds in the desert in the winter time, uh, and it uh, worked fine. There's no bending or anything that has happened to the support bars. Uh, this one is the uh, other side and um, the bars are stored at a higher level during transport. So they have to be moved down and the safety pins be added again uh, into the support beams in here. This one is a little more challenging setup. The trailer is on uh, quite a lot of slope or angle, uh, but uh, it didn't turn out that it actually was any issue at all. This video is uh, four times the speed, so the total process is a little over 30 minutes. So it's not something that you deploy just for a few hours um, or for a single day of charging. But when you camp out in the National Forest, that's where we are here right now, uh, you're allowed to stay for 14 days and you can deploy it. The 4000 extra watts uh, clearly makes uh, a lot of difference when you're charging the Tesla. Uh, it generates uh, more than 20 extra kilowatt hours uh, in the summertime uh, from deploying the wings on the trailer here. That was the end of um, the support. So now all the support is out. Um, use a bar here to actually hold the solar panel as you slide it out. You have to be able to lift the weight of uh, a solar panel plus uh, a little more uh, for the support frame underneath, but else um, it slides on a couple of small wheels. And as you can see, the lower or the part that is closest to the trailer just rolled up a slope and it actually lifted uh, the solar panel up. It's a lot of up and down and you get your exercise done here. It's uh, 21 times up and down the ladder uh, in this video in here. So climbing uh, almost uh, 20 uh, sto stories. Every panel is again secured with the safety pins uh, out at the end out here. So now only remaining the last side after this safety pin uh, and it 
will be uh, fully deployed. All the extra solar panels has the benefit of also creating kind of an awning on both sides. So you almost have a, uh, or you have a lot of extra shade from all the deployed solar panels. Rolling the panels up the slope we don't really require a lot. Uh, if it starts getting hard, you need to use a little WD-40 before um, deploying them if they don't really roll up well. The wheel is simply a piece of aluminum round bar uh, that has been cut and drilled a hole in the middle. So it um, is just supported by a stainless steel bolt. So that was the uh, last safety pin. So now the only remains to uh, power it up, and uh, it gets into its own inverter, so you can run only half the system. Each layer has its own uh, breaker, so. Um, Just connect them together and then you uh, apply it as incoming power to the inverter solar controller. And it is now running the MPPT cycle trying to find the max power point in here. Uh, and it's increasing uh, quite good and it's 10 o'clock in the morning here, uh, over 3000 watts uh, from the extra panels deployed in here. So the trailer has um, a very narrow um, profile when traveling, uh, no bigger and no taller than the motorhome, but when deployed it uh, has a lot of extra solar panels. Uh, 